what God has asked us to do. We're to love our neighbors, and I think it's a great way to love our neighbor. Treat people as you want to be treated, with respect and be non-judgmental. There's a lot going within the parish. We have our sewing ministry, there is liturgical ministry, there is religious education, faith formation, uh, there's community outreach, taking care of our sick and shut-ins, there is ministry to hospitals. Uh, it, it can go on, but I think more importantly is there are so many good people in the parish who are utilizing their gifts not so much in an organizational way in the name of resurrection, but just taking their faith into their own lives and, and sharing that with their co-workers, neighbors, school, and, and other organizations that are not even affiliated with the parish. My name is Jane Kometz and I am a member of the Sewing Ministry. The Sewing Ministry is a branch of the Ladies Auxiliary. We were founded about 10 years ago right at the beginning of our church, Resurrection Parish. We are a group of ladies that originally were asked to make altar cloths and banners for our church. And since then we have gone out into the community and made things for the community. We felt there was a need out there. We make blankets, quilts, shawls. Um, they're given away to the community for free. Anyone is entitled to have one. You do not have to be a member of our church. Hey, my name is Carol Samo, and we found a need to support our local nursing facilities. We decided to uh, distribute some greeting cards so that they could communicate with their family and the outside inside the residence and outside. We are distributing them to like 12 nursing facilities. I think it's important because we are showing that we care about people who are no longer able to come out into the community, so we need to go in and show that we support them, that we love them and we think about them. They need to see that the community care about them. Hi, my name is Diane Ashbridge. I've been a member of Resurrection Parish since it conception 10 years ago. I'm primarily responsible for three major uh, community things we have done here. The first is a uh, blood screening that we do annually. It's held here in the church hall and is sponsored by um, Wimber Hospital. The second is our angel tree that we have at Christmas time in which uh, participants from our parish take tags and buy Christmas presents for children from the Kimber City Mission and Children and Youth Services. And the third thing is during Lent, uh, we collect personal care products for the free clinic to pass out to the, uh, their patients there. To me, that's my personal goal, to make them feel that they are loved and they're not forgotten because some of them do not have family. So we are their family. We as a church are their family. I've grown up in the church and they've always provided us opportunities to help. Some of the volunteer work I do with the church is going to the soup kitchen or the Humane Society. And I've gone to the Humane Society and helped out with all the animals out there and like clean their cages and all that. And it's nice to help everybody, not just make money for your church, but that's our commission as Christians to help people in need. My name is Pat Meager. I'm a member here of Resurrection Parish. Uh, one of the things our Ladies Guild picked up upon was for the St. Vincent de Paul food kitchen. And what that was is just to ask people to bring their aluminum cans to church and we collect them and take them up there and they use that money. Grant money gives them, helps them to buy the food but the can ministry money helps them to get the extra things they need for their wish list, things for in the kitchen and such. And the other ministry, West End Food Pantry. And we just uh, bring uh, food and dry goods that they might need there that they would give out to the people. Uh, and I think that's where a lot of the volunteerism comes from in the parish, that there is something beyond us as individuals and beyond this community that reaches out into the water community. Everything we do is for free. For me personally, I've been very blessed in my life and I've always wanted to give towards charity. I work for my church as much as I possibly can and I like to follow St. Francis' belief in giving to charity. I think it's been said before, re respect, you know, uh, for themselves, for, for others, and that there's something beyond us. It makes them happy and it makes me happy. I want to make Johnstown a stronger community.